Today we are going to be making a really easy baby change pad. The baby change pad has some vinyl on it that we will easily put in place as well as a nice pocket for all of those baby items, diapers and wipes. So this project is 100% beginner friendly. Don't let the vinyl scare you. The vinyl is a skill that you will learn as you sew this project and you will be happy that you learned it. It was so much fun and it really was so easy to add this particular iron-on vinyl. So let's get started. Start by cutting two pieces of cotton fabric at 14 and a half inches by 30 and a half inches. You will also need a piece of batting that is cut at this same size. Then cut a third piece of cotton fabric at eight and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. You will also need some elastic. Binding is optional depending on how you put this project together. And then some iron on vinyl, which I will have linked in the description below. All right, so let's have a quick talk about vinyl before we continue on in the tutorial. I ended up buying this particular vinyl uh, and it came in a roll. I just bought it off Amazon and I will definitely link to it in the description down below if you're interested. It comes in two different types so you can get it in matte or in glossy. I chose to get it in matte so if you're wondering which vinyl I used that's the one I used but glossy would be totally fine as well. So with the vinyl, I chose to put it on the top layer of my fabric where the baby would lay when you were changing your child. Now, if you are thinking, eh, that'd be a little cold for baby, I don't really like that, you could always attach the vinyl to the back of the fabric so that it would still create a waterproof feel without kind of that cold aspect. I mean, my kids never noticed, but if that's something you're concerned about, then definitely use that as an option. Another thing that you can do is just instead of doing the vinyl is you could buy like a canvas fabric or something a bit thicker. Um, an outdoors fabric would be really nice because those are nice and wipeable as well. So those are the few things I wanted to mention about vinyl. So let's jump on in and add that vinyl to our fabric. Then cut a section of vinyl that is the same size as one of your large pieces of cotton fabric. For myself, since my vinyl came off the roll, it just happened to be the right width and then I just cut the correct length. Then of course, follow the instructions on your vinyl packaging on how to put everything together. It actually was surprisingly easy. I found ironing the vinyl onto my fabric a lot easier than actually ironing on any of the interfacing that I've done in the past. So I guess what I'm saying is don't let the vinyl intimidate you. So just as a quick overview, which you saw in these past clips, was that I took the vinyl, I peeled off the backing, I laid it onto the top of the fabric, I hand pressed it on, I flipped it over and I hand pressed the backside as well to press out all of the bubbles. Then I took the backing paper, I laid it back on top of the vinyl. I took my iron at a medium heat and I slowly pressed all over the entire vinyl. Once I'd done that, then I flipped over the entire thing and then pressed it again from the fabric side and that seemed to secure the vinyl in place. But like I said before, I really do recommend that you read the instructions that come with your vinyl and you use their instructions to secure your vinyl in place. Once you've attached the vinyl to one of your pieces of cotton fabric, just trim around that piece of cotton fabric to make sure that you've removed any excess vinyl before moving on to the next step. And now it's time to set up our pocket. So what we will do is we will fold along the long side of our fabric a half inch down, press that in place, and then fold it one more half an inch and press that in place. That will create a nice pocket for your piece of elastic. Then cut a piece of elastic that is larger than the actual pocket itself. So this pocket is cut at 16 and a half inches. So cut yourself a piece of elastic at around 18 inches in length and then tuck it into the pocket that we've created, clip it in place, and then sew a seam along that inner section of the pocket that we just pressed. Next, it's time to create pleats. So for these pleats, I measured five inches in, five and a half inches in, and six inches in, and I marked all three of those marks. And then I pinched the fabric along that center line 
folding it over to the outer line. I did that on both sides and then pinned that in place. Next, it's time to attach our pocket to the top part of our vinyl fabric. So just line it up along that bottom edge, pin it in place, and we will sew an eighth of an inch seam allowance around that entire thing. So you'll do a back stitch and you will secure the one side of the elastic in place. You will go all the way around and then you will tug the elastic just a little bit. Don't tug it too much because then it'll pull all of the fabric together and it will look horrible. I learned my lesson. So please learn from me and don't tug on your elastic too too much, but tug it enough that the pocket lays flat up against our vinyl fabric. And then sew across that elastic and secure it in place cutting the excess of the elastic away. As you can see here, I tugged on the elastic just a little too much and it's curling the fabric up, which in the end was pointless. So later on I do fix that, but as you can see, it's curling quite a bit. So I just want you to make note of that as an error on my part and don't tug on the elastic too tightly when you are securing your elastic in place. All right, so there are two ways that we can put this together. We can put this together using the binding that I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial or we can put it together the way that you see here without binding. If you've never done binding before then definitely follow along in the instructions ahead because I do not add binding to this project. However, I will link to a tutorial that walks you through all of the steps that you would need to know to add your binding to this project. So instead of laying all of your fabric right sides face in and then reverse flipping it out you would lay it exactly as you see here already with a layer of batting in between and then you would add your binding around that outer edge of course making sure that your pocket is attached ahead of time and then you can add the binding around your pocket as well and I would like to ask you guys to please hit that thumbs up button if you find this tutorial helpful as it really does help YouTube know that this tutorial is good enough to share to other people and I would love for others to also enjoy this tutorial. So thank you so much. So to do the version without binding, lay your section of batting down first and then lay your cotton piece of fabric without the vinyl right side up. Then lay the fabric that has the pocket on it right side facing down. Next, you will pin around the entire outer edge, marking an opening along one of those sides around a five to six inch opening. I pin it with different pins so that as I'm sewing, I don't forget what I'm doing and sew across that area because you need that area to turn your project right side out. And then we will sew a half inch seam around that entire outer edge minus that section that we want to leave open, of course. Again, right here, you can see that my elastic is really tugging hard on that fabric. Yours will not do that because you will not tighten your elastic that much. Then it's time to trim away all four corners before turning our project right side out. So we've put everything together, we've turned it right side out, and you may notice that the vinyl is a bit wrinkled from having to turn it right side out. If that's the case, just lay it flat and give it a good press with your iron from this side, the fabric side of your fabric, and it will definitely smooth out those creases. And I would love to ask you guys a question. I was wondering if you like to sew baby projects. If you do, what types of items would you like to sew? Please leave those in the comments down below because I would love to make tutorials for you that are actually useful and items that you would want to sew and use as gifts. I look forward to hearing from you in that comment section and now let's finish our project. Once you've turned it right side out, then just take something like a chopstick to push out all four corners very gently. Don't push too hard or else you may pop out one of those corners. And then turn the project so the vinyl is facing down on top of your ironing board or for myself, I'm gonna use this wool mat and press out all of those edges so that they're nice and crisp. Make sure to press the fabric in towards that open edge 
And then of course with the vinyl, I just finger pressed it in because I did not want to hit that with the iron. Then we will sew a quarter inch seam starting at one edge of the pocket, going all the way around and ending at the opposite pocket edge. And don't forget to backstitch when you start and when you stop. Now we want to make this baby change pad a little bit easier to fold up. So to do that, we want to create two more seams that are about the same width as our pocket. For myself, I just folded in my pocket and kept on folding it and that created the crease that I needed to mark. And then I took a water soluble pencil or a friction pen and just marked across that creased line and sewed a seam along that creased line. So I did that for the two creases as well as along the outer edge of my pocket. And of course, don't forget to backstitch when you start and you stop as always. And that just really helps this baby change pad feel finished and easy to roll up. Now I did take this project to the side and fix my elastic. So now you can see that the pocket is not tugging on the fabric anymore. Everything is laying nice and flat, but the pocket will still be able to hold a nice pack of wipes and a couple diapers and then the elastic will do its job. And that is how to make an awesome waterproof baby change pad with a pocket. I hope that you were able to put this together with ease. I hope that my tutorial walked you through all of the steps in a way that you could understand. But if you have any questions, please know that you can always leave them for me in the comments down below. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.